Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth for for another episode of Nintendo Entertainment Sunday. Today we're taking a look at the game Legacy of the Wizard. I've never heard of it. And okay, it looks like one of these uh Okay, as long as this isn't like hide light, I'll be happy. Um oh god, we're we're a finger poking people in the face. Password? What? 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 The hell? The music is good. I'm just kind of... What is going on? A is jump, B is magic, but that seems to be using it up, so I don't want to just keep pressing it. Ah, ha. And we get to fight tentacle monsters. That's great. And they give us keys. That's interesting. Uh, what are we? What are we? Hey, money. That. Oh, that's just a monster respawning. Did that just hurt me? What is going on here? Okay, that gives me magic back. So it's like a side scroller, right? It kind of. But it can hurt me. What does this do? I guess it's more magic. Nice! Okay. That works. wonder how high it can jump. And- oh! I was saying like, oh, I wonder if falling hurts me. It's an NES game. What do you think, Seppi? And it's money. Okay. So, you go through dungeons, and you find stuff, I guess. I do like the music, though. Uh, it has not- become obnoxious yet. No double jumping? Oh, sad face. <sighs> yes, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I'm fighting octopi octopodes, and now it's things. Okay, those don't give me items, jerks. What is that? Hey. I wonder if that's like a necessary item? Yeah, okay, it's something I can reach. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's the select... Okay, yeah, select is... Can I like do anything there? No, I can't. Okay. I want... What are these keys for? Are they? T I guess they're to unlock the chest since I don't have as many as I had. Uh, I wonder if that hurts me. I'm not really... I'm walking on the enemies. That's hilarious. This is like Mario 2. Except it's not. At all. My shots don't really go very far, do they? Oh, wow. Um, where did I fall? Hello? I'm, I'm invisible. I don't know if I was invisible or I was just sprite limited. Why is that there? Who are you, mysterious lady? That thing just avoided me. Like the plague. I guess I am like the plague. I'm a purple thing. That just kinda does his own shtick. Okay, okay. Ow, why did I get that? I just have a habit of collecting everything I see. It's not my fault. I was just born this way. There's an inn in the middle of a dungeon? Is there like some sort of cohesive world map or, or like how is this divided up? This is kind of like uh, Legend of Zelda style horrible maps. I can climb on that rock. It was an enemy? What is that? Will this kill me? No. Ten gold pieces, please. Okay. 
Oh, that's not bad. Let's... Oh, yeah, we can pick that. Okay, cool. I bet you I'm gonna waste it now. Um... Okay, so while you're paused, I guess you can choose that. Oh, that returns you to... Oh! That's kind of interesting. Let's go to the shop. Wow, 95 GP. Eh, I'm not gonna buy anything. Okay. Boink. This is kind of like all the bad elements of, of Zelda 1, Zelda 2. A little bit of Kirby here and there because of the way he falls. Uh, well, no. Kirby... Kirby, uh, didn't start out on the NES, so I can't really say that. This is probably created before that. Uh, I didn't... What was the date? 89? Is this before Zelda 2? I think I could destroy this, actually. Can't I? No? That was a enemy earlier. Can you? Like, I don't know if you can, like, warp back to where you were, though. Like, do you always have to go all the way back? It kind of sucks, doesn't it? And I can't even fly through the air with the greatest of ease on my trapeze. Yeah, this definitely has, like, Zelda 1 and 2 written all over it. Aside from the fact that you're a pink monster. Maybe Kirby was copying- well, actually, Kirby wasn't originally supposed to be pink, so I can't even say Kirby was copying this. That's not doorway. Are you following me, sir? I'd prefer if you didn't. But yeah, this is like Zelda 1 in terms of where the hell am I, and Zelda 2 in terms of side-scrolling annoyance. But, uh, I have to hand it to it. This game seems, at least at this point, a lot easier than Zelda 2. Because Zelda 2 sucks. My challenge in Zelda 2 isn't how far... Like, uh, like, can I beat the game? My challenge in Zelda 2 is, how far can I get before gaming over? Getting a game over. That game is just evil! Oh, and now I got a speed boost. That's kind of cool. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Nope. Eh. Yeah! Give me- Wow! So much money. Oh my god. I think the inns are all over the place because you can't attack unless you have magic. That's what I'm that's what I'm assuming. Oh no, now I'm slow again. Why cruel world? I don't like mazes either. There's very few games in which I enjoy the mazes. Oh come on. My earbud keeps falling out of my ear, so I have to keep readjusting that. Yeah, see, I don't have ears like a normal person, I just have earbuds. So, like, it, you know. I'm trying to grow an ear, though. I was going in the wrong direction the whole time. Or can I, like, shoot through one of these? He does have a funny face. But, you know, like many NES games of its time... <laughs> backstory? What's that? Seriously, like, these games just are completely devoid of anything inspiring us to care about the characters, and I really don't like that. Okay, I guess this is one way. Sorry, Santa, you're gonna have to move out of the way. Oh. And, uh, I, I really wish, like, some of these games, like, like, you know, the, the story is usually, like, put in the manual, or whatever, but, you know, we don't, obviously don't really have access to that. I have to get to an inn, don't I? So, yeah, I can't say this is a bad game, but I'm not enjoying it. Um, the music is good, the gameplay mechanics are average. Um, they're not bad, especially for an NES game. Like, you know, if you've been following this, uh, this series at all, I've played some pathetically horrible... Okay, seriously, stay in my ear. I've played some pathetically horrible NES games. Um, and this is definitely one of the better ones. But I'm just not invested. Not, I'm just not invested at all in it. But that is pretty awesome. I don't have any items. And that's really sad, because if you're playing... If you're making a video game, it should be likable, you know? 
And I really, like, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea what my quest is. Or what my favorite color is. You get it? I made a Monty Python reference there. It wasn't funny, though. Okay, that's gonna hurt me. And, um... So I was climbing that guy. He's not even hurting me, is he? No, he's just knocking me off a... a off the ladder. I can't even stay on the stupid ladder! Like... I don't know. Ah, oh, god, why did I do that? Come on. There we go. Yeah, some of the, some of the gameplay here is annoying. Uh, but, I don't know, it's just like, it, there's no... It's very messy. Uh, to, to, to try to give it a, a, a reason why I'm not really enjoying it, it it's a messy game. Like, I, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Well, I, I... The gameplay mechanics are easy to understand, but that's as far as it goes. Like, I'm a, I'm a green... Uh, not green. I'm a, I'm a pink dinosaur thing. And that's all. Like, that, that's wonderful. I guess that's a shortcut. There's an inn over there. But, like, I just... I have no desire to play. And it's sad. I can just run through everything. Nothing hurts me. I just shoot things. Fall down here. I don't know, I'll go this way. You know what? This is actually... You know what? I, I was wrong. The... The... Yes, yeah, just like that. The, uh... The... Style of gameplay here is not Zelda. It's Metroid. This is Metroid, but instead of Samus, Aaron, it's uh, a pink dinosaur thing that shoots stuff. Just like Samus. It only goes a little distance, just like Samus' uh, shot did originally. I'm not getting that. I guess I'm just gonna follow these, I don't know. Okay, sound changed. Yeah, so it's this isn't as good as Metroid. Even though I had never actually beat the Metroid game on the NES, I did beat Metroid Zero Mission, so that kind of counts. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it's, it was easier. Uh, but this is not as good as Metroid was. I don't know. It's, uh... Legacy of the Wizard. I don't see any legacies or wizards unless... Oh, come on, that was still there. Unless, like, the enemies aren't even attacking me. I could just stand there and nothing will happen. I don't even have to attack them. This is stupid. <laughs> um, like I said, it's good music, but as as a... I guess, I, guess I, I am going to call it a Metroid ripoff. As a Metroid ripoff, it sucks. Uh, as a video game... It, for an NES game, it's average, because it's just, you know, you just have horrible NES games out there. <coughs> Action 52! I didn't even hide that. Okay, that's life. And what can we buy here? I have no idea what those are. I'm assuming it's uh, refill on life and refill on magic. I don't even know if there's, like, bosses in this game. I don't know how I'm supposed to get from place to place. You know... Like, are there supposed to be hidden passages, or can I go down things? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end off the episode here because I'm. This game's putting me to sleep. Like, it has potential, but they just didn't. It's stupid. <laughs> anyway, this has been several until before at Nintendo Entertainment Sunday. Um, yeah, join me in the next episode, and uh, fun stuff will happen. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.